Hey, what's up everybody? We're gonna be doing some unboxings and the shirt color was a coincidence, but um, we got a bunch of boxes here. So what are we unboxing today? I don't know, cause <laughs> I have no clue actually. I, I haven't told you yet. Probably some junk I, I didn't need to buy, but it's gonna be cool, trust me. So hopefully you're excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh. Hello. So this is a lot of stuff in here. I don't even know how to do this, honestly. All right. Let's put it. Let's like, put it on the floor and then just have one table. How about that? All right. You can move my table. All right. So we do have some airsoft guns in here. We're gonna make you wait for those just till a little bit later in the video. All right. So we'll show them this first. So we got some green gas cartridges or tanks, not cartridges, but. So this is for gas pistols and rifles um it's a little easier than the co2 cartridges yeah we found that out, out. <laughs> yeah. oh man i don't know if we have cheap cartridges or i what. don't know <laughs> all right well that was disappointing we'll need to do some more research <laughs> So it's like real easy to refill those things, like squirt them in and they're good. Yeah. It like takes like five, like two seconds basically. Yeah, so you just poke that in and boom, you got new air. More of these things. Cave's got a bunch of these. We got a total of six of those. Yep. Now, um, let's start with these beasts. All right. So we got a 1911 thing here. Plastic one, not very heavy. Pretty cheap it feels, I mean. <laughs> but we got a silencer here, suppressor. Ooh. Maybe it'll just go in there. It works. Oh, okay, it works. Oh, you cracked it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it made a noise, hopefully that ain't bad. Okay, we do have some better stuff than this, but um, so. these, these are uh, probably the cheapest airsoft guns in the world. Yeah, it says toys right all over the package. You see that? <laughs> so, so it looks like this is just a spring-loaded one. Like the hammer don't move back. It's you pull it back and you get one shot. It sounds pretty loud. But, sounds like it might be pretty powerful. Yeah, I'm sure it will still hurt. <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, we're actually gonna try it out. Cool. Not on me. <laughs> Put them in one at a time. Here. Ah, pull it down and just. Put them in there. Not this again. At least this one's easier to pull down than the others. We'll give you four shots. Four shots. There you go. Okay. Looks pretty cool. So I like to shoot it in the house. No, don't hit. Don't hit anything that's gonna break. Like hit the cardboard or something. <laughs> what about the couch? Yeah, the couch is fine. Okay. <laughs> Actually. How, how would you say it performs? Um, it doesn't perform, perform too bad. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how far this thing would shoot. Like, should we try to shoot someone? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So these were in the single digits dollars, so very cheap. It looks Whoa, uh -huh. some nice stuff uh -huh. in here. Okay, all right, we gotta show this one. All right. This is the one I have been waiting for for so long, like my whole life. And no compromise. All right, so this is actually a surprise for her. So shh, this is a gift. I'm sure she really wants this. Oh, I dropped it. So. Looks pretty nice. Nicely boxed. Yep. Check it out. All right. Wow, this is nice and heavy. Let's see. How do you? All right. Well, <laughs> I think you pull these up. Ah, there we go. Get the stock out. Man, that's cool. I don't know how lock in place. 
Ah, there we go. Man, that feels nice. And the uh, handle comes down. Ah, it's got a functional safety magazine. Sights. This one actually feels a lot better than your other one. <laughs> let, me, let me grab it real quick. Caleb got a really cheap one of these. Probably can't tell too much yeah, of a difference video, between looking at them. These look exactly the same, practically. This thing is terrible. This thing cost me $60. Still looks very cool. This thing, much heavier. I honestly had buyer's remorse after I bought this, but <laughs> when I was uh, first getting into firearms, like as a young kid, this was like my dream gun. So I was like, I gotta do it. I can't go my whole life and not do it. Um, so to justify it, it's a gift to my wife. Yeah. And then she'll be like, I don't want that. And then I'll be like, okay, I guess I'll take it. Polymer, polycarbonate, is that the same thing? Same. It's just different names yeah. for plastic. Yeah. <laughs> different types of plastic. Which I you mean, mean, some people get really offended at me saying that. Yeah, but, uh, it's plastic, but whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. So we can stop whispering. Let's put this away and All right. move on to the next one. I'm going to do more video content on this one specifically, so uh, I got to get my money's worth. The The package deal came with a LiPo battery oh, and, really? and a smart charger, so I think this thing's going to have a lot of oomph. And then it goes down. Oh, there we go. Yep. And then for the, the slide, imagine we just pull this little lever. Yeah, there we go. This thing's cool because it's like so tiny. Use it as a sidearm almost. Yeah. It has one of those uh, safety triggers. The, the two pieces. Got a spare magazine for the MP7. Uh, pretty normal, but that'll be nice since uh, I think this is a mid cap one. So, uh, are you yawning? I think this is a mid cap, which means you don't have like hundreds of BBs in there that you have to spin the little knob. But as a consequence, it only holds like 110 rounds, which is still a lot. I mean, it's way more than an actual uh, firearm. But it's nice to have that second magazine. Leave a comment if you yawned after I yawned. <laughs> okay, this oh, is totally awesome. pointless. <laughs> a grenade. It's a screwdriver. It's a screwdriver? <laughs> oh. Let's see what it is. Hey, I actually grenade do. Grenade screwdriver. Look. What is it? It says, I know HTML. <laughs> it's a, uh, do you know what this is? No. This is the, it's hypertext markup language. It's what they, they use to frame the content of websites. I don't know. Oh. I must have got this as part of one of the, the bonuses. And it looks like I got a a metal uh, target thing. Cool. Yeah, this will be nice for some target practice. I got two of them here. This knife makes it really easy. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> That's another thing don't tell his wife about. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, ah, man. <laughs> I pulled the head right off the uh, grenade. <laughs> you never want to do that and then say whoops. <laughs> All right, so it's supposed to be a uh, a screwdriver. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's got like a bunch of screwdriver heads in it. All right, so it looks like you stick this one at the top and then you put one of the heads in there if I can get them out. You close it back up and you got a <laughs> screwdriver this is grenade. Def definitely something nobody actually needs in life, yeah. but. <laughs> yeah, this is like, a, I don't know why you would use this. It looks cool though. <laughs> Next up, we got a uh, LiPo battery. Wow, is that what they look like? Yeah, very Man, small. Man, really small. Yeah, so the LiPo batteries perform better, they last longer. Um, the only thing is you can't let them deplete all the way or you might not be able to recharge them. So, And some guns will stop firing before that happens. So look into that. Uh, we have a white box here. What could it be? Oh, this must uh, came battery with the charger? LiPo battery. Ah. Uh, so this is the, the battery charger that came with the, the MP7 kit, so. Cool. Yeah, so this will ensure that each section or segment or whatever it's called of your battery is charged and balanced. I'm actually surprising my mom with a little uh, blowback pistol because she's been saying she wanted one. You were over there. She's yep. like, yeah, I want yep. one of these. I'm like, oh, well, I already got you one, so hopefully you like that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her this thing, which is just a plastic, oh, something flowing in the air. Plastic, decent pistol, but it's plastic. It's nothing too impressive. But then I have uh, the same thing, full metal, 
Um, just so she thinks I'm giving her like a really junky one. I'm like, ah, just kidding, I got you a nice one. So, um, I'm cool. not gonna open this one because it's it's already it's in that yeah that, that one dangerous packaging that you can cut yourself and die. <laughs> um, but we'll open this one. Just don't tell her. All right. So this is uh, I think this is basically the replica of the Sig P226. Man, this one's heavy. It feels cool. Feels like a Sig. Man, full metal. Yeah, and this is green awesome. gas, which is why I got all the, the green gas containers, because I'm gonna give a couple of them to her. Yeah. Man, this, this uh, handle is really comfortable. Oh, wow, yeah. I like it. Where's the... Yeah, slide release right there. <laughs> I'm used to the, the one we had yesterday was all the way up here. Yeah. This one's all the way back here, which is weird as a left-handed person, because if it's up here, you, you can just take your, your index your, finger. Uh, yeah, your finger. But if it's back here, you have you have to you have to use your thumb or something else. So I don't know. Now, if you're a normal person, you're you're part of the inferior. Uh, you it's actually society. pretty easy to just take your thumb and do this. But yeah. So the way this works, uh, if we release the magazine, so green gas. This is what we we're talking about. You just poke it in there, wait until it stops. You can hear it stop. And then you just load in these shots here. Yeah, really simple. Um, I didn't think I would like the green gas too much because everything I had read, I thought CO2 seemed way better. But like once we actually tried them out, the CO2 was like uh, a bit of a hassle to reload, and yeah. green gas was like real simple, easy, fast. So when you get a, a pistol like this, this is going to closely represent the 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 equivalent in the the real or the real steel which is what a lot of the airsofters will say so the real steel being the actual firearm so they get licensed by sig sauer to create a replica or as close to it obviously it's not going to be exactly the same because it shoots bbs but um, size wise dimensions external looks is all going to be pretty much the same a lot of times the weight is the same yeah so yeah. for training purposes some people like airsoft um, I guess it just depends on your personal tastes. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, and actually, even uh, professionals in the law enforcement and military do use airsoft for some training things. And because they can replicate the real feel, the real weight, and do it in a way that's safe uh, for like actual training with other guys. Yeah, now Sig Sauer is one of the, the more high-end handguns, if I'm not mistaken. They make really high-end guns. Yeah. Uh, so I have a couple more that I plan on talking about on this channel, um, some of which are are used in in the military, so we'll talk about that um, in upcoming unboxing, which I don't think we have those yet, but there is a line of Sig Sauer Airsoft guns uh, known as their, their Pro Force line. Each Pro Force model closely matches its real steel counterpart in model specs and delivers an authentic user experience. So if I'm not mistaken, I think these are actually produced by Sig Sauer, um, which is really awesome because, you know, what better way to get some practice? I mean, even if you're just around your house shooting targets for fun, um, you can also train your your ability to aim down sights and, and reload. And even though it's not the exact same thing, it's still helpful. A lot cheaper than burning up true ammunition. We know. Trust us. Which is why we're doing airsoft, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll, we'll learn more about that, but I pre-ordered some of these. We'll try them out, and maybe we'll get some of the, the actual firearms, compare them, um, if, if either of us can afford them, so. Yeah. So what do you think? That's all we got for this box. I think this is pretty cool stuff. Anything so. that was your favorite? Um, I'd probably say the steak here is my favorite. Yeah, that's pretty high so. on my list, too. Obviously, I like the Maybe a second favorite would be, like, the grenade uh, <laughs> screwdriver, you know. Yeah. I learned to never trust you with a, with an actual grenade. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good thing it was only a screwdriver because I like uh, that would have been bad if it hadn't been. Yeah. I obviously like the MP7, but um, I also really like the same gun too. So. so guys, be sure to check out our next unboxing because we have a lot more coming and we got a lot of cool stuff to unbox. Yep. And whatever you do, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't you dare subscribe to the other Caleb Curry that makes those boring programming tutorials. It will make you yawn even more than me. I watch him when I'm trying to fall asleep. I don't do that because I don't want nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.